Short films tend to be quirky. They have little time in which to establish character, situation and purpose, and so often set out to engage an audience in an idiosyncratic way. End Station is indeed unconventional in places, but it is also well-made, intriguing, thought-provoking and ultimately satisfying, if also a little melancholic. A young woman has her bag stolen at an almost deserted train station, and as a result her flat is burgled and there is violence. This outline does not, however, convey the appeal of the piece. There is a brief discussion of the vagaries of fate, but the true point of interest is the way in which the story is told and the import of the mysterious and almost ethereal figure dressed in a black coat and hat, seated on a bench on the platform, who then appears in the flat, looking at the bodies of the young woman and her partner. This dark and vaguely sinister silent figure may be a sort of spiritual detective, who reviews evidence and events as he investigates the murders of these two young and innocent victims. The chronological sequence of the events leading to their deaths is intriguingly altered as it may reflect the manner and order in which our celestial detective deduces just what happened and solves the crime. Fortunately, the film does not end there, as our detective does not restrict himself to a mere inquiry to establish facts and guilt. In a post credit sequence, he meets out justice as well. I have always enjoyed angel films, and I have a particular fondness for heaven-sent bringers of justice. For me, this carefully thought out and ultimately satisfying short film recalled something of the spirit of An Inspector Calls and High Plains Drifter, with a touch of the Adjustment Bureau thrown in, and I heartily recommend it. My thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it of some value.